This is your morning brief for Thursday, February 7th. Uh, futures are down, indicating a lower open. Uh, they're down about half a percent. I would expect about the same on the regular market. Um, earnings are all over the map this morning. It's, it's hard to believe you got one good one, one bad one within a sector. Uh, for example, Duncan Brands posts uh, disappointing sales growth. Revenue growth of only 1.5%. Um, same store sales were flat. They did beat earnings, posting 68 versus 61 estimates. So this is quite disappointing to me personally because I own this in um, our model portfolios, and uh, I would have expected five to eight percent kind of growth. Uh, the company is supposed to be moving from a regional player to a national player, and growth internationally, Europe and China, and uh, you know I'm sure that's still happening. You know maybe it just was. You know, one-off bad quarter. That's pretty low growth, though. When uh, we're supposed to be growing, you know, across all these different regions. So, I'm disappointed. The shares are only down two percent. I'm going to look into that a little bit more. Uh, still, you know, each each uh, one of their stores, though, are, are pretty good. Though, like they do earn a good rate of return on capital. I just was expecting better growth than that. So, a little disappointed on the growth side. Uh, Yum Brand sales slipped modestly however same store sales were up three percent worldwide uh us was lifted by taco bell and kfc so even within that that's a bit of a mixed bag so um same store sales everybody loves this metric in um in the retail sector because uh you know you just get it's it's like money for free right you don't have to put in more money into the business you don't have to uh, build new stores you just right to the bottom line and in our models that would mean return on invested capital would go up um, so everybody wants same store sales so they were up three percent but overall revenue came down so there's no mention of this but they must have closed stores what else could that be um, so that's a mixed message right there uh, Chipotle Mexican Grill easily beats estimates same store sales are up 6.1 percent that sounds great on its face and shares are up uh, however, I'm a little leery of uh, Chipotle Mexican Grill. I am uh, well aware of their past with the food contamination, um, listeria outbreaks. You know, just when they seem to get things under control, you know, another one happens. And uh, I am, I mean, I love that number 6% growth, but you also have to look back that it was a low number. You know, this is a low bar because of all of the things I just talked about. And um, I'm not convinced that they uh, have cleaned up their act just yet. Um, good for them for increasing their same store sales. So, okay, Fiat Chrysler came in in line but lowered guidance. Shares are down 10%. This is a big deal. Uh, you know, this is a big car company. Seventh largest in the world and uh, lowering their guidance. And there's always this... If for as long as I can remember, we talk about peak auto. Like for the last ten years, peak auto, peak auto, but they kind of go up just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, I don't follow the, well, I don't cover the uh, the actual car uh, manufacturers like the the Chryslers, the GMs, uh, Toyotas, but I do cover the auto parts. So obviously, you need to follow um, you know the sales of these companies. So this is kind of disappointing. Uh, on one hand, however, as soon as we say that, GM beats and confirms their guidance. So within a sector, again, uh, all over the map. Uh, T-Mobile uh, beats on higher subscriber additions. They added 1 million users this quarter versus uh, 891,000 in Q4 last year. So that's a nice little beat. Um, very pleased, I'm, I'm a big supporter of T-Mobile. Uh, I think it's one of the most interesting uh, interesting telcos for sure. It's definitely a different animal. Uh, it looks different in our profile compared to everybody else uh, and slightly better and good growth. Trying to make an acquisition of Sprint that hasn't gone through the regulators yet, uh, but I think it will. I think that should be okay. So mixed bag, futures down a little bit. Uh, earnings all over the map. That's our summary for Thursday, February 7th.